following the conclusion of HBO's highly anticipated Michael Jackson expose, Leaving Neverland, Oprah Winfrey premiered her very own special, entitled After Neverland, on Monday evening. The HBO, own exclusive saw Winfrey, 65, conduct a one-hour interview with director Don Reed, Wade Robson and James Safechuck, the latter two being the driving force behind the making of Leaving Neverland. Although the two previously defended Michael Jackson, under oath during the People v. Jackson 2005 sexual abuse trial, Robson, 36, and Safechuck, 41, individually accused the late King of Pop of molesting them in 2013 and 2014 respectively. They are the two most recent men to accuse Jackson of sexually exploiting them during their childhood. In 2017, their cases were dismissed. Winfrey delved deeply into the long-spanning allegations and ultimately questioned the innocence and intentions of Jackson. As a result, Winfrey is now facing a major amount of backlash from a longtime Jackson supporters. Jackson fans across the globe have flocked to various social media platforms to send the host their hateful messages, many claiming that After Neverland is strictly one-sided, while urging others to Michael Jackson with 10-year-old James Safechuck on his private tour plane on July 11, 1988. Dave Hogan, Getty Images read more, Michael Jackson's sexual abuse allegations, a timeline Winfrey is known widely for her history in social activism and works aimed to expose sexual abusers and pedophiles, which is why many believe After Neverland stays true to her format. However, there are many opponents who are questioning her intentions, including some who claim she conducted the interview for the ratings or numbers after Neverland came as one of Winfrey's infrequent television appearances following the conclusion of her own talk show, The Oprah Winfrey Show. In 2011, the own special was filmed in front of an audience of about 100 sexual abuse victims, a factor which many dedicated Jackson fans believe made the interview entirely biased. Watch, why exactly was Leaving Neverland created? Although the special never averted the topic of the singer's supposed sexual abuse crimes, Winfrey claimed that the whole point of After Neverland was to raise awareness about sexual abuse, rather than just to tarnish Jackson or his legacy in the public eye. The movie transcends Michael Jackson, claimed Winfrey to her audience. If it gets you to see how sexual abuse happens, then some good would have come of it, said Winfrey. This is a moment in time that allows us to see the societal corruption, she added. It's like a scourge on humanity. While some supported Winfrey's supposed intentions, many others weren't quite convinced that she wasn't trying to target the smooth criminal singer. Watch, Macaulay Culkin says friendship with Michael Jackson was normal read more, Michael Jackson estate sues HBO over documentary following its premiere, Jermaine Jackson, Jackson's older brother and former Jackson 5 bandmate took to Twitter to share his opinions on the matter. He called out Winfrey and reiterated that Jackson was proven innocent through trial back in 2005 and that too many people are ignoring the facts, so many in media, including Oprah, are blindly taking. fact, so many in media, Inc. and Oprah, blindly taking. Jerry saw through it all. Trial by law proved Michael's innocence long ago. Fact, Jermaine Jackson, at Jim Jackson 5, March 4, 2019 Following its Sundance premiere in January, members of the Jackson family have continued to publicly denounce leaving Neverland. Collectively they referred to the film as a public lynching against the singer. The Jackson estate sued HBO in February for allegedly violating a non-disparagement clause in a 1992 contract, which precluded the network from disparaging Jackson in the future. The company ignored the suit and refused to change the premiere date or alter the contents of Leaving Neverland. Brenda Jenkins and Catherine Van Tygum protest the film, Leaving Neverland, screening at the Egyptian Theater at the 2019 Sundance Film Festival on Jan. 23, 2019 in Park City, Utah. David Becker, Getty Images read more, Michael Jackson's family responds to, Leaving Neverland, claims, I know my brother, he is not like the ton abundance of Jackson supporters proceeded to call Winfrey out for her friendship and involvement with Harvey Weinstein, who has been faced with a countless amount of sexual abuse claims. This led to many accusing Winfrey of picking and choosing who she publicly ousts. 
you're a sellout and a parasite and two-faced. Anything for ratings and fame and trying to still be relevant. Destroying an innocent man's name and legacy just to make yourself look good and keep the attention away from the real monsters out there. Paul Colebrook at Paul Colebrook 14, March 1, 2019 at Oprah When you do one-sided interviews with zero research await the repercussions, also called karma. You have been set up for huge disgrace and failure. Your trust level has had a possible zero forever, Mr. DT Arsenal on TV, at Truths underscore D, March 5th, 2019 Oprah showing them she can drum up numbers and drama. Hope the check will be worth it, X at E. Jumaine, March 4th, 2019 One-sided hit job. Oprah why didn't you invite Corey Feldman or Tosh? Talking about the seduction of celebrity as if she hasn't sold her journalistic ethics for fame and money. Now she is letting proven liars tell their one-sided story. Made Michael and his family believe she could have been a genuine friend. Her friend Harvey asks for help now look. Yes, even Oprah, Maddie, at Mellow Meds March 5, 2019 How do y'all feel about Oprah doing this one-sided documentary about MJ face with rolling eyes expressionless face, slinks 2, 4, 0, 0, at slinks underscore 2400, March 4, 2019. The Jackson estate has continuously suggested that the allegations would not have been made if the King of Pop were still alive to defend himself. Michael Jackson with Jordan Chandler at Disneyland Paris on July 27, 1993 in Paris, France. Alain Beninus, Gamma Raffo via Getty Images read more, Michael Jackson accusers detail alleged sexual abuse in first TV interview during the premiere of Leaving Neverland. The Jackson estate made two of the singer's concerts available to stream, for a limited time, on YouTube. The 1992 concert live in Bucharest, The Dangerous Tour, was available, free of charge, during the first part of the documentary, while the live at Wembley Stadium concert premiered the following day. Many believe the Jackson Estate's actions were made to derive or distract viewers from signing up for HBO and watching Leaving Neverland. Watch, Jermaine Jackson speaks out against, Leaving Neverland, documentary read more, Michael Jackson's family responds to, Leaving Neverland, claims, I know my brother, he's not like that whether it be the handful of sexual abuse allegations made against him, the premiere of Living with Michael Jackson, 2003, Leaving Neverland or after Neverland, many different things have contributed to the dwindling of Jackson's persona since 1993, to this day, the truth about Jackson remains unknown, but the singer was never found guilty of any crime in a court of law. Jackson denied all sexual assault accusations throughout his life but sadly he's no longer able to defend himself in the court of public opinion. Adam. Wallace at Global News. Kafalo at Adam Wallace Copyright 2019 Global News, a division of Chorus Entertainment Inc.